Hi, my dear friend. Today I have Mr. Amit Mukherjee, and he is founder and CEO of Combat Climate Change, and he is uh, combat combat this itself clear that he is combating for climate change. So welcome, Amit, uh, to my channel, Smart Solutions Community. Uh, Thank you. Can you share your uh, your thoughts, how you see that you can participate in this struggle of climate change, how you can do this? I think uh, it's important to know that climate change cannot just alone be tackled by governments or large organizations. And all of us as individuals have roles to play. Um, and this is where the key difference is when it comes to combating change in a larger movement, where I can contribute or how um, my organization can contribute is to facilitate that change. Uh, we work with um, the government here, we work with local organizations, and we are working with schools and kindergartens. Um, so we are trying to spread across the bandwidth of the society to to help people understand what the change is about, how do you get on board the change, and how do you do the change not just for yourself but for the generations to come. So when you talk about the corporate sector, they have ESG agendas or the environmental, social and governments, uh, governance agendas very clear, but they are missing the gap between how the presidents and prime ministers have committed to, to the UN's 2030 agenda and how do you close that gap? So that's where I can contribute, also being a certified um, change maker for climate from the United Nations. We are also working with very small organizations or society in organizations who say that they want to do their bits for the society and the companies are working in their agendas. And then we work around how do you connect corporations and individuals and societies who work and live in that in, in that environment um, through their change of practices, through the change of habits. Because we have to remember that climate change is not just about SDG number 13. It's all about all the 17 sustainable goals which have to play in tandem with each other. And lastly, I would say we're working with schools and in kindergartens where the knowledge, the awareness, the investment needs to happen from bottom up, where all the kids of this generation need to know and learn what is at stake and they need to prepare. And one of the biggest, um, one of the goals of the COPs is climate adaptation, because a lot of damage has already happened. How do we adapt to the da damage? How do we adapt to the change? Um, that's equally important to learn. So we my organization and I, uh, with my team members, we are truly working on uh, investing the time and effort to make children aware, societies aware, companies prepare um, to all come together and combat this change faster, which is also one of our taglines. Excellent. This, yeah, it's a uh, combat. This name say that you are uh, doing everything together to get through this struggle because climate change is very important and tomorrow this is our green light. So Excellent. you are doing excellent things and that's great. And you are doing this not only in general, um, not only in general, maritime also, yeah? You can also, because your background is from maritime, as I understand from our discussion. Yes. So I have spent uh, 20 years in the maritime industry, in container shipping in particular across um, three continents of the world in five countries. And one of the things I have concluded that local transporting conditions might be different, but universally, we all have a very common way of shipping goods here to there. And maritime is contributing to, it has 3% of the global emissions to date. And one of my personal purpose and mission has to be to shift from being in the operational side, commercial side, to now on um, the environmental side to see how can I use my 20 years of experience in operations and commercial and terminals and offices, et cetera, for the shipping industry 
um, to make it green, to make it environmentally um, a nice green pathway for the entire maritime sector. And I am associated with all the research which is happening with uh, the maritime fuels, uh, the green ammonia, the green hydrogen and, and uh, the e-fuels, as well as many of the operational efficiencies um, to see how can we collectively in the world make the maritime sector uh, carbon neutral by 2040, at least in the minimum if 2030 is not possible. Thank you, Amit, for this great discussion. And uh, my dear friends, please connect with Amit to know more about climate change and how we all can together contribute in this world to make it green. Thank you. Thank you, Benay. So, uh, yeah.